Hello and welcome. You're watching Reality Check, our special broadcast after a new turn in the Rafale controversy. An interview by the CEO of Dassault, the French firm that makes the fighter jets, to the news agency ANI, in which he strongly defends the deal, claiming no wrongdoing. An interview which has been cited by the BJP and the government as more proof to back their claim that all is well. But do Mr. Trappier's explanation add up? That's what we're going to look at. But first, let's play you key excerpts from the interview, starting with his rebuttal to claims made by Congress President that Dassault is lying. Anil Ambani ki company me Dassault ne 284 crore rupay dala aur usi paise se Anil Ambani ne zameen khareedi. Matlab साफ डसोल्ट का सीईओ साफ झूठ बोल रहा है आई डोंट लाई द ट्रूथ एवरीथिंग आई डिक्लेयर बिफोर ऑल द स्टेटमेंट आई मेड आर द ट्रूथ आई कैन कंफर्म टू यू टुडे एंड आई डोंट हैव द रेपुटेशन टू लाई एंड व्हेन यू आर इन माय पोजीशन एज अ सीईओ यू डोंट लाई Mr Trappier also rebutted claims made by former French president Francois Hollande that the Anil Ambani group was imposed by India as the Indian partner for the deal as a precondition for the deal something that Trappier has denied. We uh, choose Ambani by ourselves so Reliance Group we have already 30 partners which are not Reliance so uh, it's it's not only uh, Reliance what you have been able to see today with the Rafale is the Indian Air Force is uh, supporting the deal because they need this fighter in order for their own defense to yeah. be at the top as to questions over reliance anil ambani's lack of experience in the defense sector mr trappier said a they were already in talks with ambani senior and b they wanted a company with whom they could make a clean start we are not putting the money in reliance we are putting Just. the money in the joint venture in this joint venture i put my know how free of charge i put my know how on how to produce people i have some uh, engineers from deso and workers from deso who are uh, taking the lead as far as the industrial part of this gv is concerned while at the same time i have a indian company like reliance which is putting money also in this gv because they want to support uh, the development of their country so it's the, the the company is going to to know about how to produce aircraft he said that the ambanis are only one of several other indian partners number one is we have about 7 years to perform our offset during the first 3 years uh, we are not obliged to say with who we are working Uh, number three is we have already settled work an agreement with 30 companies, which represents about 40 percent of the total offset obligation we have by contract. Reliance is a, is 10 percent out of this 40 percent already settled. The defense analyst Ajay Shukla had reported that the NDA price. which had been negotiated was 40% higher than the UPA price mr trapier didn't directly rebut that but without getting into any specifics he actually claims that the nda got a cheaper price 9% less than the upa price of the 36 was exactly the same compared with the 18 flyaway you compare flyaway to flyaway 36 is double than 18 so as far as i was concerned as uh, daso it should have been the double uh, including the the price 36 aircraft to compare with 18 but because it was a g2g government there were some negotiation and then i had to to decrease the price of 9% Okay now uh, the congress has reacted to the trapier interview saying that these are and this is a tweet by Randeep Singh Surjewala who is uh, the leading congress spokesperson that these are in quotes dictated interviews and manufactured lies which cannot suppress the rafale scam a uh, first rule of law mutual beneficiaries and co-accused statements hold no values second rule beneficiaries and accused 
can't be the judge in their own case. Truth has a way of coming out, he says. Okay, all right. Joining us uh, on the debate, uh, we have with us uh, Ajay Shukla, who is, of course, a defense analyst, who is joining us via Skype from Kochi, where he is, and uh, Pawan Khera, spokesperson Congress, is on the show tonight. Shantanu Gupta, author of the Yogi Adityanath biography, the monk who became chief minister and a BJP supporter on the show, as well as RN Singh, RSN Singh, I beg your pardon, defense expert. Ajay, let me just start with you, because you were among some journalists who tweeted out immediately after the interview saying that Trepier did not fully answer the key questions or his answers didn't fully measure up. Why would you say that? And then we'll get into specifics. Trapier is basically pleading his own innocence. He's justifying the price that Dasso has paid. And Trapier can be expected to, to sort of answer exactly what the government of India asks him to because there's a, a, a contract at stake over here. But rather than going in for his bland statements, uh, let's look at the figures. Themselves. I think the figures have to speak in this case rather than uh, denials or acceptance of uh, wrongdoing. Right. Uh, the cost... Uh, that Dasso had quoted uh, for the 126 Rafale deal in 2007-2008 and which continued till 2015 yes. was, uh, uh, was 19.5 billion euros. This has been told to us by two senior defense ministry officials who corroborate okay. each other. Uh, that works out on an average over the 126 planes to 155 million euros per plane. Right. Uh, transposing the same argument to the 7.85 billion euro deal for 36 aircraft, hmm. it works out to 217 million euros per aircraft. Right. That's exactly 40% more than the earlier deal. Now, the government has argued that these were different deals and so on. I would say that that argument actually works against DASO because the per aircraft price in the 126 aircraft deal, that's the earlier deal, Yes. Uh, included flyaway aircraft, 18 flyaway aircraft, yes. which are actually cheaper, and 108 building in India aircraft, which are actually more expensive. Right. So the flyaway aircraft should actually have been priced cheaper than 155 okay, million. Okay, so to simplify... Okay, Ajay, just to simplify this for our viewers, we actually have put up graphics based on your two pieces on your blog about this. So what you're saying is, based on the information you got, the cost per aircraft in the NDA deal actually works out to 40% more. Trapier claims that he has actually given the NDA a 9% discount. He doesn't specify numbers, but that's the claim he's made. Ajay. Uh, well, Trapier claims 9%. Earlier, the UPA ministers who were defending the deal, Nervala Sitaraman and uh, Arun Jaitley, had claimed 20%. Uh, these are just figures. Uh, I mean, 20%, 9%, unless you actually put the figures out there. And there right. is no reason to not put the figures out there. Uh, unless you put the figures out there and allow the public and the, the, the critics to make an accurate comparison, hmm. uh, then you do it. But the government seems to have hidden behind this veil of secrecy uh, and pushes uh, Trapier forward to answer on their behalf. It okay, is the prime who has to answer. Shantanu Gupta, why is the government not coming out and making this information clear if, as Eric Trapier says, that he has given the NDA a 9% discount, why not come out and reveal the numbers? Because at the moment, we've got a peculiar situation where the government has neither contested Ajay's figures, nor have they come out and clarified what the actual numbers are. See, Vasu, on the day when Rahul Gandhi gave, gave uh, uh, random numbers on the floor of the parliament during no conference motion, hmm. during that time, French government issued a statement that Rahul Gandhi is lying. Now, even the CEO of Rafael came on an earlier occasion now to an Indian, Indian, Indian news reporting agency, ANI, and told that whatever Rahul Gandhi is told a lie. And government Did is not liable lie. To, to answer any analyst answer. If Ajay, 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 Mr. Ajay came out with fact, yes. I think he said, I am not lying. He said, I am not lying, yeah. and he put he's the fact. Saying if put the saying, thing, yeah, he says, I am not lying. means the other person is lying, right? Yeah. I'm saying, does that, does that need any, any intelligence to find out that? 
I am not lying. These are the facts. So it means the other person is lying, right? That 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 what it means, right? That plain yes, English. Yes, by inference. So I think the French government has refuted Rahul Gandhi's claim. Uh, Rafal C has refuted uh, Rahul Gandhi's claim. Uh, so I think it, it's as clear as that. Why is the Indian government not coming out with the facts to refute Rahul Gandhi? Why is the Indian government depending on foreign governments and foreign defense manufacturers to rebut claims made by an <coughs> Indian opposition leader? Isn't that odd? Aren't you as an Indian citizen See, see, deal, deal has four that? partners, so to say. In, Indian, Indian, India, the, the deal has four partners. The deal has four partners was sure. Indian government, French government, Rafael as a company and the offset partners that will come in India, right? This is, th there is a secrecy sure, Chandru, clause which we are, which, uh, which we are we Indian know, citizens. Which Rahul Gandhi said, no, I have a separate secret meeting, which is refuted. No, no, but Shantanu, as Indian citizens, which are, we are Indian citizens. The government so is even accountable. RTI, the, we are, not we are, we are not only private the Indian government. Even in RTI, there, there are a lot of information, there are a lot of secret information we are not privy to. I don't want to tell uh, Indian government or any other government, be it UP or BJP, uh, don't want to tell each and every detail so that, oh, this cockpit I installed, this kind of radar system, so that th these are these are secretive uh, weapons which you don't want your enemies to uh, to know. Okay, and, we just and, still, and, uh, okay let's just get about Pawan Khera. It, uh, counter it accordingly. Okay, let's just get Pawan Khera in on this. Pawan Khera, BJP says that first we earlier had the French government rebutting Rahul Gandhi and now Trappier is rebutting Rahul Gandhi. The questions we asked from the Prime Minister of India. The first response comes from Anil Ambani in the form of a legal notice. The next response comes from Mr. Trapia. Is it a company sarkar? Are hum sarkar se prashna pushte hai, jawab company deti hai. That's our fundamental issue. Yesterday's affidavit, Vasu, yes. in the Supreme Court. Yes. The timeline of this government in that affidavit Vasu, you starts will, from you will, May you will, 2015. If you throw Mark, if someone will throw a on the reputed Shantanu, company, don't they will come out and open and respond. Shantanu, just a second. Don't interrupt. Don't, he didn't interrupt you. One at a time. One at a time. Yes, Pavan, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Vasu, the timeline of yesterday's affidavit, this government starts from May 2015. Whereas the Prime Minister, along with Anil Ambani, went to Paris in April, you don't announce, then finalize and then negotiate. Pavan, can That's I just, the way it should be done. That you, Pavan, Pavan, the, can I just bring you to negotiate? Can I come to the Supreme Court in a second? I want to hold you to today though. Okay, and, sure. And, and sure. while you may, and Pavan, while sure. you may say, while you may say that we expect answers from the Indian government, not from French governments or from private corporations, which could be a valid argument. If you just take on merit, the arguments or the facts being put before us by Mr. Trepier today or by the French government earlier, wouldn't you still say that it rebuts the conspiracy theories, the arguments of, of corruption and scandals made by the Congress? Here is Trepier saying that Anil Ambani was not imposed on us, it was a deal done above board and we actually gave the NDA a discount. Why would you this, disbelieve this is him? a private company which, which needs to be in business, which needs this order. I don't want to really um, get into a verbal this thing with Trapier. But Trapier was very right in one thing. He said the planes, the 36 planes mm. are exactly the same with the same configuration as was negotiated by the UPA. Mm. Mr. Trapier forgets that that's what we have been saying. That's what the joint declaration between the Prime Minister of India and the French President said on 10th of April 2015. Yeah. But Government of India lies and says, no, no, these planes are different. There are India-specific enhancements. The so-called India-specific enhancements, enhancements were also covered when the UPA was finalizing this deal. Not one extra nut or bolt has been added in these 36 okay, aircraft that some... Mr. Modi went and bought off the shelf. There are Wait, some contradictions. I, I haven't finished yet. Okay, can I just move on and I'll come back to you? Yeah, because sure. I also want to bring in R.S.N. Sure, Singh. Sure, sure. R.S.N. Singh, there are some sure. contradictions in the Trapier interview with the positions taken earlier by the Indian government. One of the things Trapier says, which is a little confusing, is that he says that the aircraft which has been given to the, the part of the NDA deal are without the missiles. This is a response to a question from ANI about whether the aircraft, the 36 flyaway aircraft come fully loaded. He says, not the missiles. As I said, it's a separate contract. But 
what we were given to understand earlier is that the 36 uh, I, flyaway jets came fully loaded and that was the price that was the final price of 7.8 billion euros <coughs> you know there's a lot of a speculate yeah there's a lot of a speculation about uh, price etc mm. but let let me make it very simple i hope everybody is aware that you cannot spend a penny out of the consolidated fund of india without justifying for it hmm. now what happens is what you are actually saying is that a deal has taken place and you are uh, insinuating that kickbacks have taken place right so when you say you who do you mean the people who have gone to the court let you me tell you they haven't said that how much of kickbacks have been done you are giving some this thing you know one minute, one minute. Don't, don't, don't disturb me. The, I'm not the disturbing you. I'm just asking you to clarify when you say you. You mean the Congress the or you mean those who have gone to court? One, uh, one minute, one minute. One, one, one minute. One minute. One, 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 one minute. One minute. One minute. People who have, you know, yesterday the court pulled up somebody, you know, for being a habitual PIL offender. Amongst the petitioners is an anti-national who is a habitual PIL offender let's who says that you know, like JNK should be separated for let's India? Not, let's, not other, like he, he, let's not use language like anti-national. Let's not use language like anti-national. Anybody, anybody who says, stay, anybody who says, anybody who says, anybody who says, to the fact. anybody who says that JNK should be separated from India, in my dictionary, he's an anti-national. What are you screaming about? And he about? should not be entertained in the court. What are you screaming about? We're and talking about Rafal. Sir, okay, please, if you, please. If you're going to scream, I'm going to have to silence your mic. This Sir, is, Rafa, you can't scream. What is his local stand? No, this is not you that kind of show or that kind of channel no. where you can scream. If a person, and also try to deflect. If a person, if a person okay, is, we're, not, if we're a silencing person your mics. I'm sorry. Silencing mics, Ajay Shukla. Moving on, Ajay Shukla, to the court, to the timeline that Pawan Khera was talking about, which the government laid out in the court about the manner in which the deal unfolded. Were you convinced by that? Where they seem to suggest that essentially what had happened is because of the delays in the UPA deal, our adversaries had managed to upgrade their own weapon systems. And that's why the government had to go ahead and announce the deal in Paris in April of 2015, the preliminary deal, and then set into motion a sequence of events to finalize it. And that that was evidence of due process. Uh, Basu, uh, the timeline that was laid out in the in the government submission to the Supreme Court yesterday started in 2001 uh, and went on till 2015. It covered 14 years, out of which the Congress was in power for 10 years and the UPA was in power. The NDA, I beg your pardon, was in power for the remaining four. Hmm. So uh, the delays uh, were to put it blanket bland and say that uh, it was the Congress and the UPA that was responsible for the delays mm. is not correct and I'll tell you why. Because the deal started in 2001 and only in 2004 yes. was the acceptance of necessity given for the aircraft. Now, a, a Congress critic of the BJP would say, why did you sit on this for four years uh, right. to give the acceptance of necessity? But the bottom line really is, Vasu, that the, that the Air Force arrived at the selection of the Rafale hmm. only in 2012. And the delay, the political delay, the political decision-making process and the bureaucratic negotiation only began in February 2012. Right. So delay that can be uh, charged, that the Congress can be charged with delay is two years delay. Right. And after that, the NDA government can be charged with one more delay, one more year of delay from May 2014 to uh, April 2015 when the next deal was right. Okay. But this, this is to look at it entirely incorrectly. The problem is not a political issue here. The problem is the serious and endemic uh, systemic delays that attend all defense procurement in India. Hmm. It is not only the Rafale deal that was delayed, multiple deals were delayed and they were delayed in both the NDA and the UPA government and continued to be delayed today. Okay. Uh, for example, the submarine, six submarines had to be bought. Uh, five years of the UPA, of the NDA government will go past. No action will have been taken on those submarines. Right. Uh, so 
I mean, it's it's just a question of getting the systems in place rather than political name calling. Okay, you know, uh, I know that uh, you have your hand up, uh, Shantanu. I, I want to ask you about what I was saying earlier that if you were to start getting into a on position on the Supreme Court, was on the Supreme Court, just a small yeah, bit. on the Supreme Court. I'm coming to you on the Supreme Court in a second, but I want to just ask you about this business of basically accepting in good faith everything that is said by a foreign defense manufacturer and saying this is India's defense because Julien uh, Bossu, who is the India correspondent for Le Monde, the French newspaper, sent out a series of tweets critiquing the Trappier interview. When one of the things he says is that in response to Eric Trappier saying my company is clean, he says this has not always been the case. A former director of Dassault Aviation received in 1998 and let's put those tweets up on the screen, an 18-month probationary sentence for bribery. He has bribed numerous Belgian politicians in 1988 in order to secure a contract. Isn't this the reason why we shouldn't trust necessarily the words of a private company, especially a foreign company, and come up with our own explanation from our own government? See, Vasu, Vasu, based based on a based on a news story or allegation of 1998. If you want to do a commentary on a current Rafale deal, I think you 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 are happy to do that conclusion. But again, this as I told you, there are four you. parties: government of India, government but of France, the offset partners, and the company Reliance. Shantanu, all of them, all of them, in very clear terms, stated the procedure, path. the process, what happened. It's only it's only only Rahul Gandhi's figment of imagination which is creating this whole Rafale uh, Rafale scam. See, I think I want to make a commentary on the Supreme Court thing. I think this is very unjust for the Supreme Court to ask the government for the procurement process because even even without a prima facie evidence, because Rahul Gandhi whimsically thought that there is a there but, is a scam. Uh, Shantanu, we now, need government of India has to explain the, the whole Court. process to the Supreme Court. Are you this will throw the, the whole Court defense now? process into a. In, 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 see, I am questioning the Supreme Court, and uh, Supreme Court is open for questioning. If you, if, okay. if Supreme Court, well, without even a prima facie evidence, keep asking for the that defense is on process you then, for each because, and every purchase, yeah. then, th then the defense procurement will go for a toss. Then the, then the defense process go for a toss. We had a UPA government which sat, sat on about 10 years okay. and now we have a Supreme Court right, just, Pavan, just on news and just on the opposition leader's muck Last trying week. to call a government to the court. This, Pavan this Kheda, rumor respond. mongering, this, this, this rumor mongering that we sat on it for 10 years, on 643 parameters, six different aircrafts were tested by the Indian Air Force. That in itself took four to five years. Right. Is he accusing the Indian Air Force of sitting on it? No, they take that much of time. So please ask him to stop rumor mongering at least. Five if he doesn't years, have anything sir. in his defense, what let him keep quiet. Okay, what about, what about just a second, Shantanu, just a second. Please, Pavan, please what about his interrupt. point? Please Pavan, what about his point that what happened in the last five years? Pavan, the what need about to this start point that watch base I'm time coming to that, 2012, after Rahul Gandhi's conspiracy theorizing was the is disrupting the defense procurement what process is, is making us vulnerable in terms of national security. Pavan. I, I, I no, will tell you what happened. Excuse. AK no, 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 Shantanu, the question is to Pavan. Shantanu, the question is to Pavan. No, no, Shantanu, the question is to Pavan. I can't carry this muck with me. Shantanu, the question is to Pavan. Pavan, go ahead. Pavan, go ahead. Thank you. Vasu, Vasu, when, the gov when any government starts hiding behind nationalism, patriotism, believe me, they are hiding something far more murkier. And this is the system. Where Anil Ambani reveals the price, Dasa's annual report releases the price. Hmm. Our government says we cannot release the price because it's national secret. We show them all the 18 articles of the so-called pact they are talking about, the secrecy clause. Right. Not one clause in these 18 clauses mentions price as a secrecy. Price is not secret. Right. So they have been misleading right from the word go. Hmm. The process starts after declaring, after announcing of, on 10th of April 2015 when the Prime Minister boldly announces 36. Right. I don't know okay, how he reduces 126 to 36. Okay. After that he starts the process. He, okay. Your Ajay. affidavit in the Supreme Court says that the process started afterwards. Okay, all right. Ajay, we're out of time, uh, but very quickly, you stand, Ajay, by the numbers that you quoted, uh, despite Trappier's claim that he actually offered the NDA 9% discount, you're standing by your figure of 19.5 billion euros for the UPA deal and the 7.8 billion figure for the NDA deal. 
Uh, absolutely. Those figures, both those figures were given to me by completely unimpeachable sources who are for obviously reasons I cannot uh, name. Uh, Trappier, I would like to clarify here, has not contradicted my figures. All he has done is extrapolated on those figures some construct that he has See, arrived at. Your defense analysis can't, can't, reveal, can't reveal facts and you expect government of India which all the paraphernalia of defense should reveal all the facts. An individual defense analyst can't reveal his sources and a government of India with, with all the complexities, global complexities, wants the detail on each every company. That's the comedy happening on your channel. That's comedy happening on your channel. You are a comedian yourself. Shantanu, mm. we're not asking. He's behaving like a comedian. We're not asking the government to reveal sources. We're just asking them to reveal the prices, the price which they, you know, they've apparently disclosed uh, to the Supreme Court in a sealed cover. See, o overall, o o but we're out of overall time. broad prices, overall broad prices. Even government minister I M J Akbar has in his article written, but each and every component then it will reveal. Okay, fine. What we're going completely over. Have. Gentlemen, we'll have to leave it there, but we are going to come back to the story. Thank you all so much for joining us. That's it on Reality Check. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.